Brent, you went. Cheers. Ah. All right. Uh, public service announcement, of course, we do have at the moment three broadcasting channels because we currently got banned on the on, on our regular main channel and shit. So we do have the emergency broadcast channel, which we are currently broadcasting from. Uh, and uh, we do also have the uh, illegal broadcasting channel, which we usually show pay-per-views there. Uh, we saw WrestleMania. We saw AEW uh, Revolution and AEW Dynamite. No, not Dynamite. Dynasty uh, last weekend. I really wanted to watch Backlash tomorrow. But it's in France. And they're doing it in French time. And so it's like 10 a.m. or 11 or some shit like that. I'm going to be working. So I'm not going to be able to watch that ass. No, like it matter. Nobody's... The championships... They're not. Nobody's going to transition to championships. They're... Cody's still going to be champion. It's one of those pay-per-views that doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. That's why they go to another country and they do it during the middle of the day. Because Americans don't give a shit about it. I thought it was this Saturday, Gomer. Oh, well, if it's next Saturday, then... uh, Fuck. I don't know. No, I'm going to have to work next Saturday. For sure. Because uh, cause I'm doing some shit this week. Uh, but anyways, going out of town and shit. But anyways, yeah, we got three channels. Look for them. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe, like, all that ass. Whatever the fuck. Uh, I do have an action, action pack show for you tonight. We are going to review the Rebel Moon, Moon the Scar Giver. I'll give you my two cents on that ass. We got some X-Men 97. Going to go over that ass. As well as the Deadpool Wolverine and all the spoilers and shit that came out. And of course, celebrity ass for the week. You know what that's like. So get ready for tonight. Uh, but let's get started with the motherfucking comments. Here are our social medias. At Cinnaman665 for Twitter. Uh, at the Underground Broadcast. Uh, underscore it's in the middle of that shit for the Instagram. And at the Underground Broadcast for fucking whatever the fuck that other uh, TikTok is. Sorry about that. But I will say one thing. We're still, I guess, shadow banned. Either that or maybe the Chinese are doing this on purpose. Because we're, we're about to cancel Twitter. I mean, TikTok on America. So, I don't know. We might even get rid of the TikTok shit. We don't we don't like communism in this in this channel. Shit. Nobody even li watches us anyways. Uh so we'll see what happens with that. Whatever you send me to the social media with given time, I'll go ahead and put it on the show on Friday. Uh Super Saiyan Joku sent me this earlier today. It says uh at the underground broadcast this is how you start the day with milky cereal. Because, son of man, I think this is your favorite flavor, Fruit Loops. Oh, yeah. Just follow your nose. Oh, yeah. So, like, were, are they gummies? Fruit Loop gummies? Or are they, like, Fruit Loops? Like, cereal? That's just uh, my question for you, Joku. It's a, it's Papa Chino's favorite meow. Oh, is that Papa Chino? Is that your dad? That's fucking badass. It looks like he looks like he could be a wrestler and shit. Uh, hashtag. Live. Hashtag THC. Hashtag pretty booty holes. Edibles chronic. Chocolate mushroom candy bar and some marijuana pills. Uh, so. It says Alba, Alba's Dumbledore. <laughs> it's like Harry Potter. They sell that shit. Those are like, what, weed, THC pills and shit? Oh, man. I'm just not into the edibles. And this is what I like. Gummies, they taste like Fruit Loops. That's fucking nuts. That weed looks like the bomb, bro. Man, if I didn't enjoy... If I wasn't a lizard and enjoyed the hot sun so much and hate it winter... I'd probably be over there right now, Joku, living with you over there, fucking uh, smoking it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. You lucky SOB. That's badass. I wish it was legal over here and shit. Anyways, we got a lot of comments all of a sudden, so let's get started with the motherfucking, uh, with the comments and shit. And our first comment comes from our resident Canuck who's currently working and shit uh, be safe out there let me hit it for Indie Phantom motherfucker Uh, 
uh, Indie Phantom says, Ah, oh, on the James Gunn uh, DC mess. Oh, yeah. Mr. Mixpick or whatever is one of the best classic characters from DC. I learned how to say his name from the Superman 3 commentary. What? He was actually going to be in that film at one point. What? In Superman 3? That's the one where he fights fucking nuclear man. If they go for some of this true weirdness, this shit is going to rip. Fuck yeah. Also love Plastic Man from the old cartoons. I like Plastic Man a lot. I had a board. Actually, I like it because in the comic books, Plastic Man is the one hero that actually Superman is afraid of. When they did uh, uh, in Justice for All or whatever, in Gods Among Us, uh, that, that's the one hero that Superman didn't want to mess with him. And he was murdering other superheroes. But when it came to Plastic Man, he just left him alone. Because, I mean, all oh, Plastic Man, he, he cannot be destroyed ever. He'll live forever with his molecular structure and shit. And Superman knows that if Plastic Man wanted, he could just wrap Superman up. Like like if like in a blanket or something with his skin and possibly fucking suffocate him and shit. So yeah. Anyways, uh he says I had a board game from Mr. Mix Plick or whatever in it that I played every Christmas. Fuck you, son. This is a brave and bold new DC. Cheers. Is a James Gunn running DC into the ground, indeed. Just you wait until the shit comes out and and ass. Mr. Miss Pig. He's gonna put Bat munch, but bat bat minch or munch that little, it, it's like a it's like a, a gremlin, but he's dressed as Batman because Batman's his favorite superhero. He's like Mister Miss Pig. He just shows up and shit. And James Gunn wants to put him in a Batman movie too. The fucking idiot. There's a bunch of ass he's gonna put. I don't know. We'll see what ends up happening. There's gonna be a super dog in the movie too. Crypto. God damn it. Y'all are pissing me off. We're barely starting with a first comment. You motherfuckers. Cheers, Indie Phantom! Uh, I didn't have a plastic man. Uh, my friend had a Stretch Armstrong doll. I remember that shit. Actually, I had it was. I didn't have Stretch Armstrong. I had one of the bad guys. Uh, you would put like a. It, it looked like a put like a little pump, but it would actually suck the air, and you would put it on the back of of this thing, and then suck all the air. And then you could stretch it and shit. And then when you press the button, the air would de deflate and then he would go back to normal. It's pretty crazy. Uh, I remember that shit. I cut him open. There was like sand inside. I fucked up. The toy broke after that. Oh, well. Anyways, let's move on to the next comment. Thank you, Indie Phantom. Uh, also on the same video, Anthony Timmons. He says, I'm convinced James Gunn is suffering from brain rot. And uh, this guy, or Han, or, or an man, min, or some shit. Or an min, or an man. I don't know. He put a, I agree for that. But James Gunn is a heck director. Hashtag fire James Gunn. Hashtag boycott D Studios. Hashtag boycott WBD. Hashtag restore this Snyderverse. Yeah, I need to get over this. Restore the Snyderverse. That motherfucker's moved on. And, and yeah, it's over. It's over. He's not coming back. All right. And, and Netflix is not going to spend any money on any DC property so that they can allow Jay, the, the fucking Zack Snyder to complete any of his fucking visions. It's done. Go online and read the, uh, the scripts. They're online if you want to know how the fucking story finished. It's shit. Cheers, Timmons. And cheers to you, or men, men, men. Whatever your name is. Cheers. <sighs> oh, Indie Phantom again. On the comments, he says, Ha 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 ha. Holy crap. Subscribers on the channel are going high. Unless I'm blind, it looks like you're heading towards fast towards 600 followers, which is awesome news. I think we're at like 594. I'm not gonna lie. As soon as he who should not be named left the channel, all of a sudden every week we're getting more and more subscribers. It's like he really was racist. 
and was fucking degrading and lowering this channel to lower lower levels than what we were. That son of a bitch. I knew his racism was what's holding us down. But we moved on from that bigotry now. And we're doing better in this channel. And we're close to 600 subscribers. So I encourage each and every one of you at home watching right now to make three fake YouTube accounts and subscribe to us to help us reach our goal. I am tears! <laughs> he says, uh, he, he continues and he says, Today, it was my birthday, but I have been uh, busier than usual. I'm supposed to get a couple of days off in early May. We'll, sh we'll see. Hell yeah, I because I, I told him he could stay in Texas if he ever drives over here. Because he drives all over the fucking country. He said, I've never been to Texas, but it's on my bucket list. I'll definitely hit you up if I end up there someday. I know my dad was there a few times way back in the 80s and 90s, and he said it was wild. Uh, everyone is armed and shit. Well, especially nowadays, or nowadays it for sure everyone's armed. I want to see some of the woke stuff like Animal Draft House and even the real Alamo. Yeah, the real Alamo is, um, it's going to be disappointing when you finally see it. It's really small. Yeah, it's a lot smaller, you know, than, than, than you're led to believe. He said, cheers, and I will see you soon. Hashtag. Oh, yeah, cheers, Indy Phantom, son of a bitch, we love you. Cheers. Man, every time I light this weed, I get that feeling like my nose is running, but it's not. It's not. That's why I keep sniffing, because I think it's running, son of a bitch. That's when you know the weed is good, when it fucks up your sinuses. My dad was in Houston a lot for work. Houston is dangerous. Just ask fucking Jose Trevino. He'll let you know, man. It's fucked up. You don't want to go there or Dallas. Those fucking places are fucked. Any city in America is fucked. Any large metropolitan area is fucked. Full of crimes and brown people committing crimes. White people getting drunk, beating women. It's all over the place, all right? It's America epidemic. It's all over the place. Joe Biden's not doing nothing about it. Obama did nothing about it. That's why we need Trump in the office. Cheers! Send us two thousand dollars in the mail, motherfucker. That's what we want. Stimulus. Give me some of that stimmy, stimmy money. Give me some of that Ukraine money to my pocket, motherfucker. That's what we want. Anyways, yeah, let's move on. Anthony Timmons on the TikTok shadow banned me. He says I never got into TikTok. Fuck them, son. Well, they're about to get fucked either way uh, because they passed that law or bill that says that they got to sell TikTok to an American company in order to function in America. And the Chinese are not having it. No, sorry, Bob. They're saying, like, we're going to keep it communism 100%. My Darth Vader's falling over here on the side. And they want to keep it communism all the way. And uh, they said, we'd rather shut it down than to bend the knee. To Joe Biden. And it's sounding like. It's sounding like. They are going to shut it down folks. Goodbye to your TikToks. And your 14 year old girls. Dancing around in tight little shirts. Bouncing boobies and shit. Get ready. That shit's going away. Sons of bitches. All you're going to have is your exes. And your fucking IGs. And your threads. And your Facebooks. And your OnlyFans. So. Let's see how you survive with just that. Bitches. Cheers. Timmins continues. He says, another on the Jurassic movie, Jurassic City movie details. Another franchise being run into the ground. I lost my interest a long time ago. Um... Like I said, man, I didn't care about the movies as far as the story or where it's going or what's continuation. I just want to see another new dinosaur. A dinosaur I haven't seen in the last movie better come out in a new movie. And then they've delivered when it comes to that. New dinosaurs, more craziness. That's all I care about. And that's all really the American people want to see. Nobody gives a fuck about a uh, tangible multiverse a uh, fucking, uh, uh, trying to come up with shit. No, fuck you. Give me some dinosaurs eating some people and shit. That's what it's all about. All right. 
Cheers, Timmons. Cheers. <clears throat> and plus, Scarlet Yost is going to come out. That's going to be hot as fuck. <clears throat> I'm trying to drink, but I keep burping right before I drink. God damn it. All right, let's try one more time. Cheers. Indie Phantom on the Jurassic Park video as well says, Well, I've seen them all and shall continue to do so, even though they're mostly ass. It's got Scar Joe. Oh, Scar Joe and a couple of woke tarts. They actually should go full R rated and make it about some weirdos that have that get sex kicks from doing it in front of cage dinos. That would be something new. Kornberg could direct. Cheers, sonny boy. Well, Greta Thunberg or whatever the fuck, that lady who did Barbie, she said she wants to do the next. They're not going to give it to her. She did, they said this lesbian's crazy. But she said she wanted to do a movie about uh, someone falling in love with a dinosaur and having sex with it. Yeah. Because apparently, look it up on the internet, there's actually such a thing as women's dinosaur romance novels. Where cave women fall in love with like brontosauruses and then they get fucked by them and shit. It's an actual fucking novels. There's weird shit like that. I'm just like, what are women? That's a fucked up shit, man. You know, they don't want to read. They don't want to see any of the cow porn or the horse porn or the donkey porn. But they're cool with the dinosaur porn because it doesn't exist. So it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what's in your mind. You want to fuck big fucking giant dicks. Not human dicks. Just wait till the aliens come, you motherfuckers. It's gonna be all caused of debaucheries and shit. Come on. Tentacles and shit. That's why that's why the fucking Japanese come up with a fucking hentai and shit. They already know what's coming. It's gonna be bad, fellas. It's gonna be really bad. Cheers, isn't it? Alright, alright. J Hart W on the Jurassic. City movie detail says, oh, oh, he's quoting me because I said about Comen Domingo. They're going to get, he, he's rumored to be the villain of the movie. He says, uh, that I, I said, you know, he's woke as fuck currently married to another man. So he's perfect for every Hollywood film right now. Cheers. Hey, all I know is that you're an actor and you're trying out for a movie when you put sex, it better not be straight and it better be say like, you know, with another man while another man watches us. There you go. That's the kind of shit they want. They're interested in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a woman who identifies as a man who was actually born as a woman or some shit. I don't know. They don't want to get that specific if you don't want they just wanted to be different. They don't want no straight motherfuckers. That's it, man. The age of straightness is over, fellas. Get with the times. Cheers, J Hart W. All right. Uh, Anthony Timmons on the Bianca Sensori was assaulted video. Creeps are gonna be creeps. Maybe dude should have stepped in way before the creep even got close. You want a hug, motherfucker? Call your mama. No, but they, they, somebody decked the guy. Somebody decked the motherfucker that put his hands in that bitch's pussy. I don't know if it was Kanye. I don't know if it was the bodyguard. Somebody decked the motherfucker and now somebody's suing somebody. All right, we don't know yet. Nobody knows the details. It's just alleged list and all this ass. But who knows? We're going to find out. Not tonight. Maybe in a week or two. Who knows? TMZ, I'm waiting on you to give us the details. You dicks. Cheers, Timmons. <sighs> There's a lot of comments. You dicks. Uh. Oh. Rocco, fuck my life. Let me hit it for this Satanist. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Rocco. And Rocco on the El Chapo's unlawful uh, U.S. treatment in jail. Says, 
Damn! That's Gomer and Joku. And he puts a shocked face. Them some mean motherfuckers. Wolfpack got some bad motherfuckers. Cheers! Hashtag. Wolfpack. If y'all didn't know, fucking Gomer and. <laughs> And Super Saiyan Joku featured that video, that Chapel video. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I'm just saying, whatever you send me, I'm gonna liberties to post to your motherfuckers. So you, once I know, you can send me a picture of you. You're fucked. <laughs> you're gonna come out one day on the fucking show. <laughs> Cheers to y'all. I hope you all enjoyed that one too, you motherfuckers. I did that for you. Go back, Joku. Cheers. J Hart W. And the son really enjoys reading comments video. He's quoting me again. Son of a bitch. He puts a, that I said. A transsexual outreach program in the ocean. That's because the guy's comment that I was reading, his, his name, his name was trans... Oceanic Outreach Program. No, Transoceanic Outreach or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transoceanic. So I was just deducing what he what he was. Uh, he should be more specific and say what ocean this trans outreach program is at. Is it an Indian Ocean? The the Asian Ocean? Uh the Arctic Ocean? The Atlantic Pacific? I see, I know all of my, my oceans. Sons of bitches. Um, be more specific, motherfucker. We'll put more. We'll promote your 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 program. Get you more some trans motherfuckers sign up to go over there on boats and shit. You never know. You get more people. We get more subscribers. It goes hand in hand. Yeah, that's how we work. You know what I'm saying? Cheers, J Hart W. Oh, out of fucking nowhere, Jitsimus Prime! <laughs> now, this guy never had an intro because his, his, because he's a, he's a woke pack member. He, he won a year or two ago. I don't know when he won. He got a shirt. Did he get a shirt? I don't remember. We sent it to space. We shot it in SpaceX. Unless that rocket exploded and never made it to space. We're sorry. <laughs> but anyways, uh, he's a Wolfpack member. So what we used to do is, he who should not be named, son of a bitch, he was the, the one with the talented voice. And he would do Jitsimus Prime's voice and read the comment. But luckily, I don't need that son of a bitch. Because I got AI. So here we go, Jitsimus Prime. We're going to continue the tradition. And we're going to hear you read your own comment here on the fucking podcast. Here we go, fellas. Greetings, wokest dudes. I'm gone for a microsecond, and all of a sudden you've been reduced to one. Well, you know how I feel about that. Where we go one, we go all. Do not grieve, son. Fate rarely calls upon us at a moment of our choosing. Just know this. I, Justice Prime, and the Justice Bots have been keeping tabs on you. Not missing one show at all. Thank you, son, for entertaining us through these trying times. Through many battles, you and the woke pack have kept us sane. Anyways, till next time, my friend. Till all are one. Hashtag. Live. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Suck it, he who should not be named. That was way better than you ever could, motherfucker. Cheers! <laughs> that was badass. That sounded just like fucking Jitsimus right there. Jitsimus, you better let us know next week what you thought about that, you dick. Ah, oh, yeah. Cheers! It's always gonna be. Live. I do this for y'all, motherfuckers. Cheers! AI is amazing, y'all. You have no idea what kind of deep fakes you could make and shit. It's badass. I put my face on, on big muscly guys fucking chicks all the time. It's pretty badass. Y'all should try it. It's really awesome. 
Oh, yeah. Cheers! <sighs> all right, all right. Let's move on. We're getting too out of hand here. Getting too crazy. Super Saiyan Joku and the Beyonce Sensories Assaulted says, I'm going crazy. Explosion. Ah, ooh. Nah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They kept it on the download this this week, man. I don't have nothing of the, no titties, no ass from them. We'll see what happens next week with the Yeezy. He must have been he must have been fucking the shit out of her at home instead of parading her around and shit. Yeah, yeah, it happens. Every once in a while, he has to stay home and actually get to business. Here's Joku. Thank you for commenting, son of a bitch. Thank you for being here too. All right. Ah, oh, depots. <laughs> what up, motherfucker? On the sun enjoys reading comments. He puts a peace, peace pot like a do sign. Like, oh yeah, yeah, motherfucker. I think I read your comment. Was it your comment? I don't remember. I was reading your comment or not. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers. You put, you put. I read a bunch of your comments, depots. Cheers. Ugh. Oh my god. Ugh. All right. I think I need to start practicing drinking some more because I can't drink that way I used to when I was younger. So I get to Fridays and all I'm doing is burping. I can't even smoke and drink anymore like I used to. <sighs> Getting old is not fun, fellas. Not fun at all. Anyways, let's keep moving on. We're going to keep on drinking and smoking. We don't give a fuck what our body says. That's right. To the day we die. Oh, shit. Let me make sure this is the last comment. This son of a bitch. I knew he was going to be the last one. Oh, he is the last one. And it's none other than Houston, Texas. Oh, very own Jose Trevino. Repites tu nombre, por favor. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano, mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tienes envidia, puto. Ah, cheers, Joko. You fucking guy. You're the shit, motherfucker. I love you. Um, on the podcast video, he says, What up, gay? I mean, Luke Perry, son, simp. LOL. Great show as usual, son. So what do you think about gay EW? I mean, AEW. I can't stand Jungle Botch and the Young Bucks should call themselves young, the Young Simps. They're so lame. I mean, he goes, uh, Katie Omega is fat like Captain Falcon. Yeah, like Captain America. There's a gay Don who manages the big black dude. AEW is burying their gangster champ. And I thought I saw Nick Ziggler in AEW, but I thought wrong. Anyways, I'm interested in your take. And are there any woke packers on Twitter slash X besides me, Gomer, and you? Well, Indy Phantom's there, but he's been working. Also, did you see Candy Blue on the new Texans jerseys? Cheers to you in the woke pack. H Town four 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 live. Uh, Jungle Jack, uh, Perry is a good wrestler. I don't, I haven't liked him since he fucked up with CM Punk. Uh, because he did cost the company. Hey, <laughs> CM Punk, that son of a bitch. And uh, the Young Bucks. I mean, God damn it, man. I remember when I first saw the Young Bucks when when Finn Balor brought him into the Bullet Club in New Japan with Bad Luck, Bad, Bad Luck Fale. Um, back then, it was so badass, and I was like, damn, these guys are fucking sick. Um, and even when they first kind of split from the from the fucking Bullet Club and, and turn into the Bullet Club slash Elite and shit. I thought they were still cool. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I, everything fell apart. Everything fell apart. 
Like even Hangman. Like I don't I don't even like Hangman anymore and shit. I love Kenny and I respect Kenny. But what it comes down to it is that we've already seen Kenny in his prime when he was in New Japan when he when he fought Okada. Kenny is is this is the end of his career, bro. And and the 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 illness that he has because it doesn't go away. There's no surgery that he can do. There's nothing he can do. This shit is gonna it'll it'll probably go away. If he's lucky, it'll go away for a year or months. Then it'll come back. If he's unlucky, it's gonna come back in a week. It'll come back in a month. It'll come back every couple of days. That shit doesn't go away. Diverticulitis, that's it. You have it for life. Uh, so he's done, man. He might come back for a match if he's lucky. If that week he doesn't get it, because it's you don't know when you when it's gonna come back. Um. And I, to me, he did like I. I think he changed his diet, and I think this is, I don't know, I don't know, but because of the change in his body that I saw, I think that he changed his diet. He went from kind of being, you know, just the way Kenny Omega used to look and shit, uh, and then he got thicker and beefier, like noticeably. And I think he wanted to pack on muscle because he was going to be AW. He was going to have the triple. He what he was a uh, what do they call it? When he had four belts, I forgot what they, he was calling it. The triple. It wasn't triple. I don't know. Uh, he had four belts. He had the uh, Impact, the New Japan, the fucking uh, Mexican TV Championship, and then the AEW. So he came out with four belts all the time. So he wanted to look big, and I think he changed his diet to add on muscle to himself to pack on some muscle. But I think by changing his diet, he started eating stuff that he never ate before. And I imagine stuff like milk and heavy or red, red meat and shit like that. And that fucked him up. And that's why he also got fat. Because of the diet change. And with the disease too. Uh, he's done, bro. He, he, he put the, he put, he has put his body through a lot. We've seen the best of him, man. And there's nothing to be ashamed of. That man uh, was the best wrestler in the world up until a few years ago. Uh, that's it, man. But he was for a, for a while, a long time, man. At least up until 2020. For, for up until 2020, he was the best wrestler in the world, hands down. Uh, Will Ospreay right now is the best one. Nobody can do what that motherfucker is doing. Uh, and he and if he would have gone to WWE instead of going to AEW, that would have been solidified because the world would have seen him. But right now, only AEW fans are seeing him. So the rest of the general audience, they don't know. They don't even know he exists. But he is the best in the world. Will Osprey, I give him that. Um, and as far as uh, they're burying their gangster champ. I don't think they're burying him. Uh, he he's there. I mean, whatever. Uh, I thought I saw Nick Ziggler in AEW. I think they left both of them, Ryan Nemeth, and and that other guy. They left and shit. Um, Don Callis, he was cool when he was managing Kenny Omega, <laughs> and he would see those those paintings in the background, the gay paintings and shit. Ah, uh, there was one where it was like he was like that you know, the, the, without a shirt with Kenny Omega, and I was like, man, I would do anything to have that up on my wall. That shit looks so badass. You know what? I would do anything to have the Bill Clinton in the blue dress on my wall back there. Oh, I swear to God, that'd be so pimp to have Bill Clinton in a blue dress like this. <laughs> Just like I was Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Cheers, motherfuckers. Oh my god, that was good. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that's the last comment. Jose Trevino, let me just uh, double, triple check here. Yeah, that was the last comment. Uh, thank you very much, Trevino, for that comment. I appreciate each and every one of you. Like I said, thank you for commenting. Uh, please send me stuff to your to a social media, and I'll post it here. Uh, or subscribe or whatever. Or all that ass. I don't know. Whatever. Do whatever you want. That's what America's about. Do whatever the fuck you want. Don't don't listen to anybody and shit. 
Uh, but with that being said, we're done with the motherfucking comments. I thank you all once again. Uh, cheers. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.